Professional equipment will always enhance any recording, but even without expensive gear, you can produce quality content as long as you focus on location, lighting, and sound. Find the quietest spot to record in and then light it as best as you can. In this video, I will show you how you can use windows, common house lights, and more professional light setups to make your videos look their best. First, let's find a quiet spot. Turn off as many electronics as possible. Can you turn off any fans, hold off on running laundry and the dishwasher? Get the room to be as quiet as you can before recording. That room with a lot of windows may look good on camera, but if there is too much traffic noise or you can hear your neighbor mowing their yard, try and find a quieter spot. Microphones will pick up any sounds you can hear, as well as some that you may not. Now that we're in a quiet spot, let's focus on lighting. Try and use the room's existing light to your advantage. If most of the light is behind you, that is called being backlit. You will not want that. The light should be shining on you, pointed towards you, making you brighter. This is called being frontlit. If there are windows, try and sit facing them to use that light. If you have overhead lights, turning them on may brighten the room, but may also cast dark shadows near your eyes. To get rid of unwanted shadows, use another light. This is called a fill light. You can move lamps around in your space to make you look your best. Remember, lights can be off camera and still shine light on you. If lights are too strong, you can point them towards a wall or a ceiling to spread out the light. This is called bounce lighting. You can also weaken the light by moving it further from the person on camera. For a more professional look, try three-point lighting if you can. Three-point lighting includes a backlight, a key light, and a fill light. The backlight should be shining down, creating an edge along the person's hair and shoulders to help separate them from the background. The key light and the fill light should be about 45 degrees from the camera and shining towards the person. The key light will help fill in some of the shadows that are created from the other lighting in the room. And the fill light helps soften those shadows left from the key light. You can experiment with different strengths of fill lighting to create different looks for your video. And lastly, while we are talking about lights, here are two things to know. There are two kinds of light, hard light and soft light. They are named after the types of shadows and highlights they cast on people. Soft light is more flattering, so always try and get your light as soft as possible. And lastly, light has a color temperature. This is the color of the light. Is it a cool blue or a warmer orange look? You're almost ready to impress the world with your video. Finally, let's go over audio or microphone options. Built-in camera mics pick up the sound of the camera and are too far away from the person speaking. Computer mics pick up the fan noise from the computer and are too far away from the person talking as well. The simple fix for this is a microphone. Here are four options. One lapel mic. This is usually fed or plugged into the camera you are using. Try and fasten it as best you can to the speaker's clothes. Watch out for clanking jewelry, hair brushing against it, and fabric rubbing against the mic while they talk. Try and fasten it about six inches away from the speaker's jaw, facing their mouth. Two, lapel mic into the phone. Same as above, only this feeds into your smartphone instead. If using a newer iPhone, you may need an Apple Lightning to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. Three, USB mic. This feeds into your computer or laptop. If using this, try and have it look like a prop or in a position that it doesn't cover up too much of the speaker's face. Four, XLR mic. This has three prongs at the end and needs not only a cable to connect to, but a special adapter and a preamp that feeds into your computer. XLR mics have a warmer, less digital sound and can be less expensive. Remember, find a quiet spot. Use what light is available, move some house lights around if need be, and get the best sound you can. 
and your video will look more professional and get more engagement. Getting good sound can be tricky. Bare walls and hardwood floors can produce echo. If you are only recording audio, say for a voiceover or a podcast, here are three helpful tips for cutting down echo, regardless of the area you are recording in. One, for around $40, you can get this sound shield. The acoustic foam will help cut down on sound waves bouncing around creating echo. Plus, the shield around the mic will help cut down on wind noises and other sounds that would creep in from the sides of the mic. Two, if your budget is tight, you can always cut down an echo by draping a thick coat around your head and the microphone. This does all the things as the sound shield, but in a less comfortable way. Three, hanging heavy sheets off camera will help cut down on room echo as well. If you do need to have video running while speaking. Now that you have all the elements, go ahead and find a location and a subject. Set up your lights and adjust until you're happy with the shot. Remember to check out our other tutorials on media, technology, and education.